Are you looking to replace your axle nut and wonder what options are out there for your bike, for your Vistro? If that is the case, this is a short review and comparison of three rear axle nuts for third and other generation Vistroms. What I have in front of me are the three real axle nuts for review. An OEM stainless steel real axle nut, the one from Suzuki. An aftermarket titanium one from JB Biker Beats. And an aftermarket stainless steel real axle nut from Pro Bolt. The OEM axle nut comes from Suzuki. It is actually a self-locking nut. It costs around 9 euro, weighs 37 grams. It is made of stainless steel and it does not have an integrated washer like the other two. Instead, as you can see, it has got a normal washer. It includes a friction ring. This ring or the extensions that you see within the threads is actually a locking mechanism to prevent the nut from loosening while you are riding. The OEM has got a separate washer that goes inside first and then it's the nut itself with a self-locking mechanism. Next it's an axle nut from Pro Bolt. It's made of stainless steel, costs around 20 euros and it comes in three different colors plus polish to a mirror like finish. It has also got its washer integrated on it and provides enhanced strength and resistance to corrosion. It weighs 40 grams and it also comes with its own anti seize compound. The Pro Bolt stainless steel one. Similarly, this also does not have a separate washer, but again it's incorporated on it. Last but not least, it's an axle nut from JB Biker Beats. It is a grade 5 titanium one, which is 40% lighter. It is highly resistant also to corrosion and it has also got its own uh, washer incorporated, so it's a flanged nut. It costs around 23 euros. The titanium one. As mentioned, it does not have a separate washer, but it's incorporated on it here. This is the titanium one. So we saw that the OEM axle nut its benefits is that it is together with its washer is 37 grams and it's lighter than the Pro Bolt one which has got the washer incorporated on it. Um, it does not come with an anti seize compound, however, it does have a locking mechanism, a safety feature. On the other hand, the Pro Bolt one is very beautiful, it's polished, it is supposed to be enhanced for corrosion, it has a mirror-like finish and it comes with its own anti seize compound, it weighs 3 grams more than the OEM. Last but not least we have the titanium one which is like half the weight of, the, of, of each of the other two, so it's 20 grams only. It also comes with its incorporated washer, but again lacks the safety locking mechanism. Now, is it worth buying an aftermarket axle nut? Probably not if it's done as a only aftermarket buy, meaning that if you want to save weight from your motorcycle, 
20 grams is nothing so if you go ahead and you buy more titanium bolts and there's a reason for you to save weight from your motorcycle being a, a super bike or a very fast bike and you want to lose weight then it might be worth to go for the titanium one as it's also worth to go if you want to avoid corrosion however the thing is that the axle is stainless steel and it does not react well with different kind of metals so with titanium you would definitely need to incorporate between them when you tie it, the axle and the axle nut incorporate an anti seize compound between them otherwise you're going to have corrosion from because they are different metals let's say different surfaces so since the the Vistrom bikes are ADV bikes and they are not so sensitive with weight so it doesn't make a big difference if you only change one or two nuts it's not worth to go for lighter ones it, it is worth to go maybe for stronger ones especially uh, as the rear axle nut and the front axle nut together with their axle shafts they are of stainless steel and it is known that they tend to seize together and they, their, their threads tend to deform so it might be worth to get a better quality let's say stainless steel one but again within price within a, a logical price otherwise it's not worth to go for a titanium or a more expensive axle nut. Torque is specified as 100 newton meters in both the service and the owner's manual. However, from past experience and also mentioned by other fellow Vestromers, this torque seems to be too high for the materials of the axle nut and the axle. And with time or with improper torque, uh, it happens that the axle nut might seize on the axle and the threads might be deformed. So in order to avoid apply some anti-seize compound uh, to overcome the issues mentioned before with uh, seized threads. So place your rear axle nut and tight it by hand and then take your torque wrench. The last step is with a setting of torque of 80 Newton meters.